You will receive a link to this client panel in the email announcing the virtual tour has been published. And what I want you to know about is the things that you can do within the client panel. It allows you to download photographs, you can edit the tour, you can view statistics, you can export tour as a video to your YouTube account, or I can do that for you. It gives you the links to the tour, and you can also order another tour, but that's usually better if you just call me on that one. Uh, first of all, you have the settings. I type in the information from the MLS listing sheet that you send me. I t usually title the tour, the, the uh, address of the tour, and I s usually select music, but if you don't like the music selection I choose, you can go in and change it at any time. They, there are at least 30 different looped pieces of music that you can check out. I usually take, so this information here was the information that I pulled off the MLS sheet. You can always change that and elaborate. You could do bullet points, you could do more paragraph form, you could choose to do it however you want. You can also change the font, the look of the font and the sizes of the font. And this, these, this information will appear when people want to click on more information on the tour and also if you do a flyer, which I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, you can also add your client's email address in here to receive virtual tour statistic reports every week. Or you can send it to them individually. You receive an email from me that gives you your statistics every time and you can choose how, how you want to present it to your client. Here are your tour links. Those are also in that email, but remember that if you are going to post the, the tour link in the MLS in the Manage Media window where you upload your photographs, you must use this unbranded tour link. Do not use the branded tour link as you will get in trouble for that. You also have access to a QR code. The QR codes are related to the individual tours. So if it's the non-branded tour or the branded tour, you'll probably want to use the, the QR code for the branded tour. You would then um, click on this. You could save you could copy the image or you could save the image as and you can save it into your folder. I would title it the, the, the street address so that you don't lose that. And then um, from here it popped up into another window on my computer so I'm going to go back to the tour window. These are also, you can also do a down, download of an offline tour which you could put print on a, or excuse me, copy to a CD that you could give your client when they're moving out of their home. You could put a nice label on it and they could have a record of their house if you wish to do that. I can always do that for you as well. Here you can download all the tour images. I highly recommend it, downloading the zip files and saving them onto your computer. It's much easier than trying to download individual photos, but if you lost a photo, you could always come back here and download individual photos. There's a video tutorial to, to how to look at the zip files and how to use zip files if you don't already know how to do so. So let's go back up here. Sorry to speed it up there. And under image names, you can go in here and retype any, any title to the the tour you could come in here and maybe elaborate on remodeled living room or something like that um, but since this is a live tour I'm going to type this back in as it was so and then you in this box here you can type you can type in some more descriptive information if you want to elaborate more on your tour so that will update all your photos over here under image order you can move by right clicking on your photo and dragging it over and dropping it in. It automatically saves it. I'm going to put this back because again this is a live tour so we want to keep that. You also have the option to create a flyer. This flyer is something, so if somebody clicks on the virtual tour under flyer, this, this will pop up. They will see this preview flyer sorry, it's up here, uh, which has the broker's name, phone number, your 
broker logo and also it will have should have the photo of you if you have a photo in your virtual tour it also gives the description from what I typed into the that box the descriptive box in the big QR code is right there so you could actually use these flyers if you wished we'll go back and what I want to do is show you you probably wouldn't want all the photos that were chosen here that just automatically selects the first six photos so probably you would want to have uh, probably a better image maybe this image here for that room and this here then because that living room is very uninteresting maybe you'd put the master in here and you would probably want a good shot of the kitchen the backyard let's see we'll put the backyard here because that's going to bump that out uh, and here's the deck off the master so maybe you would put in an order like that then you would save the flyer so that that's that's what it'll look like in the future so just don't don't forget to save things if you don't see something coming up that says save and I think that's about it if you have any questions feel free to give me a call and let me know if I can help you out or pop me an email thank you